Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this one, slightly different. What we're going to do is we're going to jump right in. But this is a project being developed by one of our Discord users and moderators, Carusia. So the issue that they're having at the minute is if we press play, so they've created it and developed a smooth local motion system, which once we get in, cool. So we can walk around, we can do stuff, but you'll see that if we hold down the grab button and then we bring our hands in, the character moves based on the direction of, or the opposite direction to the movement. So we grab and then we push forward, it goes weird. But then if we put our arms past the collision capsule, that the player's using, it works the way it's supposed to do. But as soon as we touch it, it messes up. So we're gonna fix that with creating a custom collision component or a custom collision in the project settings, which should fix this up. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the player pawn because we're gonna need access to the capsule collision. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new collision here. So we're gonna to go to edit, project settings, gonna to go to collision, and in here, we're going to create a new object channel. So your object channel, we'll call this, um, we'll call this player collision. Um, we'll hit, we'll set it to default response block. We'll hit accept. So with our new collision selected, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our capsule component. We're going to set this to custom. It should be collision enable query physics. And then we've set the object type to player collision, which is exactly what the new collision type we made. And we're going to leave this as the default player collision. Now what we need to do is just compile and save that. And then in the motion control point, we need to set our hand mesh and our grab sphere. So in our hand mesh, we're going to go to custom collision. And we're going to set player collision to ignore. And then in our grab sphere, we're going to go to custom. So it's by default, it's set to all overlap all dynamic. And if we set a custom, it won't actually change any of that sentence. It'll keep it all the same. But what we're going to do is we're going to set player collision to false or ignore. So if we compile and save, we can hit play. And now if we hold the grab buttons, we can actually walk around, which is exactly what we need to do. But if we grab an object and then we move, it does the same thing. So we just need to set that up for the pickup. So if we find our pickup cube in here on static mesh components, we're going to select our drop down. It's already set a physics actor. We're going to set custom. And then we're going to set ignore to play a collision again. Hit save, play. And now still all working. If we pick up an object, we can still walk around and we do the exact same thing. So that's pretty much how you can create a custom pickup object, or you that's how you can create a custom collision channel and have it ignore certain things. So if we just go through it one more time, we'll see what we've got. So in edit, project settings, and then collision, if I can find it, all we've done is create a new one called player collision. And it's by default set to block. Then in our motion controller or in our motion controller pawn our capsule collision is set to our object type player collision which is the new collision channel that we just created by default it's set to block which is by default what we want but what we're doing is then setting the motion controller or the hand and the grab sphere to custom so we can tell it to ignore that collision channel and we're doing the same thing for the grab sphere. And that's pretty much it. It all works as it should do. So we can close this down. And then if we test it once again, we can go in. We can work around. We haven't had to touch any code. Everything works the exact same way that it did before. And everything's fine. So, so if you want to keep up to date with Corsia's project and see how she's doing with it, then I recommend jumping over to the Discord and checking it out. It's a really cool project, especially for the smooth motion. So until next time, stay safe, and I'll see you then. Bye.